Hello guys, welcome back to another basic Java programming tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about method overloading in Java. The method overloading is one of the best ways to implement polymorphism in Java. If there is more than one declaration of the same method name with a different signature, then that type of methods are called overloaded method and the process is called method overloading. That means you can declare more than one method with the same method name, but you have it to provide some difference in method signature. Okay, so you will get the clear idea about how to implement, how to uh, how to done the method overloading in Java using this example. So here I am going to create a create another class for demonstrating method overloading class. I name it as overloading overloading demo okay so here in this class I'm going to define I'm going to declare a method public void say hello this is a normal method with no arguments no parameters okay now here I am going to declare the same method again public void say hello so now here you can see there are two methods are available in this class overloading demo but the two methods are same the method name is say hello now this is not possible because the method name are same also the method signature are same so we have to make some changes in method signature so here I am going to add some argument some parameters so I add a double value double variable as parameter now this is called method overloading so in the same class there is two method but the method names are same say hello that is the method name but the second method declaration definition you can see there is one parameter is present that means there is some slight difference in signature of these two methods this is called method overloading okay so here I'm going to provide some statement system.out.println say hello with no parameters okay here say hello with one parameter uh, double a equal to and print the value for a now here I am going to use the same method again now here the second declaration and the third declarations are same because because the signature is same so here I am going to make another change on this argument okay here I add another parameter double B so here say hello with the two parameters uh, with the two parameter double A and Uh, double B and specify the variable B okay so this is called method overloading so within this class there is three method definition there is three method declaration for the same method say hello this is called method overloading so now here I am going to invoke all these overloaded method so first here I am going to create an object of overloading method overloading demo I name it as ov equal to new overloading demo okay now here I am going to invoke the first method definition say hello with no parameter so ov dot say hello this will invoke the first method definition so when you call the method say hello 
the Java runtime will check all these method definition and it will it will select the most suitable method declaration so uh, when you call this method with no parameter the first method declaration is the most suitable one that means with no argument so the Java runtime will invoke this one now here I am going to invoke the second method declaration with one double value I pass a value 12.50 now here I am going to invoke the last one say hello with two double value 50 point y0 25.20 okay so in the last case there is two double value is present so the Java runtime will check for the first one there is no parameter but here in this case there is two parameters are present and it will check for the second one there is only single parameter is present and the last one there is two parameters are available then the Java runtime will check the data type so here the data type is double so this is the best suitable method for the last method calling so it will invoke this one okay now we can check the program now I am going to run the program clear this one run it again yeah here we got the output this is the first output say hello with no parameter and this is the this is from the method declaration with the one double value and this is from the method declaration with the two double value okay so here if there is if a method is overloaded the Java runtime will scan for the most suitable method declaration but that is not that much accurate that means the Java uses its automatic type conversion in some time for example here I am going to make another method calling say hello with an integer value so actually there is two method declarations are available first one with no parameter second one with only single double parameter and the last one with two double parameter but here there is no method declaration that satisfy with an integer parameter so here the last method calling is with an integer but in this case there is no overloaded methods are available with an integer argument in that case Java uses is automatic type conversion see the second method with a single double value the integer is compactable with double so in that case Java will convert the integer value into a double value so Java will the Java runtime will invoke this method we can check it out now run the same program again I run it again yeah here is the output 25.5 uh, we pass the value 25 we pass the integer value 25 but here Java will convert the 25 into 25.0 so the Java the Java runtime runtime will select the method using the method signature but that is not that much accurate in some case Java uses the automatic type conversion mechanism to select the most suitable method so I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode